Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Episode 10. We're going to continue the series on the Mr. FPJ DE10 Nano Project. And we're expanding on our original analog how-to video for Mr. Because I've got a lot of requests to talk about different video signals outside of RGBS, including most importantly component video and VGA. So we're going to be breaking down every single signal you can get out of that VGA port on the Mr. Because there are a lot of different options. Before we get too far involved though, do me a huge favor, hit like and subscribe. That notification bell definitely helps us out. If you feel so inclined and want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link down below as well. But you have to remember, this VGA port is just a port. That does not mean it is outputting VGA signal. It is just pins in there that you connect to wires and a different cable. So you can make this port do anything you want. You just need to remember that your audio is going to be separate when you're using analog video. You're going to have that headphone jack, which is also an optical audio port. But you do need to break out your audio because on HDMI, they're combined, but on analog, they are separated. And that is very important to remember. Now, here's the thing about component video. It's still going to use the VGA connector. Mister is just using these as actual connectors and not as standards. You can reconfigure them and we'll get into that in a moment. But you need to understand the differences and video signal. So let's just get this cable out of here and talk about what component is. It's actually YPBPR. Component is the standard name, but that is the actual signal that's going in. Y is going to be your luminance and sync. That's why we call it sync on green because that is the green cable. PB is the delta of blue and luma and PR is the delta of red and luma. That just means the differences in those values compared to RGB, which is a certain signal. You do need to remember on the top of your analog board, though there is a sync on green switch. If you're using component video, you need to make that set in the opposite direction. So it's going to work for you. Now getting into the standard that I use the most, and that is RGBS. This cable here is going to have leads from that VGA port that are going to break out into a red, a blue, and a green cable, RGB, separate signals. And you're also going to have two different sync cables. We're only going to be using one, and I talked about that in a previous video, because a PVM that's going to accept RGBS is only going to have one sync cable. So when you get a cable, and I'll leave a link below to the ones I buy, I make no money if you buy them on Amazon, I'm just doing it as a favor. You just don't use one of the cables. It is quite easy to understand. Now, we just need to remember something though. Red is the red video signal, green is the green video signal, blue is blue, and sync is sync. This is a pure signal. It is not a different type compared to component. I know that the connectors use the same colors and that can get confusing to people if they've never done analog video before, and I will break that down even further. But I recommend RGB if you have a TV that can support it, like a PVM, but if you don't, component is a really nice option as well. But let's talk about the next cable we can use, the next signal, and that is going to be VGA. That is the connector on the Mr. Analog IO board, and it's gonna be the connector on whatever monitor you use. But a VGA signal is quite different than RGBS or component, and that is for one very specific reason that we will chat about. But VGA is red, green, and blue, separate signals, but there is a horizontal and a vertical sync line. It has two syncs compared to 15 kilohertz having one sync, and that's going to be important to us because a VGA standard is going to be 31 kilohertz or 480p, which is different than 15 kilohertz or 240p, which is what most consoles are putting out. So you need to remember VGA and this are different. 15 kilohertz is going to be your standard SD resolution on any sort of console. Something like a twin Famicom, a Famicom like that, they're all outputting 240p. But like I said, even though component and RGBs share the same color cables, they are not the same thing. And this gets people confused if they did not grow up with analog televisions like I did. They look the same, they are different standards. And that's why if you take a look at the back of a PVM, you're gonna see RGB and component, and it's gonna be green, blue, and red, or YPB and PR. And that's what we talked about earlier in the video about those different types of standard signals because it does get really confusing with the cables being the same color. But if you do have a PVM and you've never used these cables before, you're going to notice that you can't just slam them in the back of the television. Sure, there's an RCA port here for audio, but that's not going to do anything for us. So if you're new into PVMs or analog video on Mister, you're going to need some BNC to RCA female adapters. I'll leave the link down below as well. That just allows us to adapt that BNC locking port over to an RCA. CA connector so you can actually put that cable in. Now if you have a normal CRT television with normal ports, don't worry about this whatsoever, but I know it can be confusing. But again, 
RGB is different than YPBPR and you need to set settings in your mister so this will work for you because even though everything fits cable wise and they all look the same, genuinely they are not. But just a little bit closer of a look of this thing right here, this adapter, it just adapts that BNC over to the female RCA. They're quite cheap and they're crucial to keep in your collection. But the other thing we need to talk about is the difference in analog signals. VGA is 31 kilohertz or 40p and a standard definition signal is 15 kilohertz and the mister can output either of those resolutions but by default generally it's going to come out as 15 kilohertz RGBS if you just have a fresh install on your mister so we're going to need to change around some settings depending on what we want to do but let's hop over to the INI configuration and the first thing I want you to know is there's a VGA scaler option and by default it's set to off this is going to be the thing you want. Some people aren't getting signal analog out and I find out when I talk to them they turn this on. This ties the analog output resolution to the HDMI port on the DE10 Nano. You do not want that. Leave it off, you get native resolution out. Now the second thing is how do you want to sync this? You're going to see composite sync is off. Off is going to separate the sync to both horizontal and vertical, something like VGA. On is going to be composite sync or RGBS. That's what you're going to use on most PVMs and consumer CRTs if you've modified them to take an RGB signal. Pick which one you need, depending on what. But if you want VGA output at 31 kilohertz, you need to make sure it's off because you need both the horizontal and the vertical sync signal on that cable active, or else your VGA monitor is not going to pull a signal because it's not going to have the full sync it needs. Now, if you want to use composite, you're going to see YPBPR is off. And and that is by default so if you're going to be using this on a consumer television with that CRT just go ahead and turn it on and then you will be able to use that component video signal but just remember it does change how this syncs it syncs on green so what you're going to need to do is go back over to the mister board like I showed earlier and you're going to need to toggle that switch if you're not getting sync some cores do this automatically apparently some need the switch so if you're trying to get component video out and you don't have it change the switch trust me on this one and like i said if you want rgbs just make sure it's off but you need to toggle this depending on what signal you want to have active and people seem to get tripped up on that they plug it in and it doesn't work for a scan leveler you need to turn it on if you want vga 31 kilohertz out if you're using a vga monitor you have to scan double that because it's expecting 31 kilohertz Pretty much no console use that outside of once you get to the Dreamcast and Naomi era. Those are going to have VGA out, but those don't work on Mister, so we really don't need to talk about them too much. But pretty much every console is going to be 15 kilohertz. Neo Geo, 15 kilohertz. Super Nintendo, it's going to be 15 kilohertz. PC Engine and PC Engine CD, you're going to follow the charm here. CPS2, most arcade cores, Genesis, Sega CD, things like that, all 15 kilohertz. PlayStation 1 still going to be 15 kilohertz and Sega Saturn it's still going to be 15 kilohertz the only time you're usually going to get native 31 kilohertz in any of the cores is when you go over to the PC stuff something like the DOS core you can get 31 kilohertz out of that but if you're dealing with a console and you want to use a 31 kilohertz VGA monitor you got to turn scan doubler on and like I mentioned in a previous video be careful with your mister. These cables that I recommend are quite nice, but they're quite beefy and heavy. Do not put stress on your port. If you stress that port out, you can crack solder joints and then your analog IO board is going to need a repair. So just be very careful and balance it well. And remember, CRTs are not flat panel LCD TVs. A lot of times they need to be adjusted. Depending on what core you're using and depending on what original hardware you're using, there are instances in which the video on the screen will not fit the screen. It'll be too large or too small. That's just how analog video signal works. Look up the service menu for your model of TV and you can adjust the size to fit your screen. Just make sure you know what you're doing and be careful when you do that. But that's how you get all three different analog video signals out of your Mr. Analog I.O. board. Now if you want a video on S-Video and Composite, which I did not do in this one, leave me a comment down below. These take a long time to make and I didn't want to make this too long. So if you guys want to see S-Video and Composite out, leave me a comment and maybe I'll make it. But that's what you need for Mr. Links to the cables are in the description below. And like I said earlier, I don't make any money off those whatsoever. Hit like and subscribe. And if you ever need any help with this, just leave me a comment. I will point you in the right direction. Show that I'll have another video on Mr. next week and videos throughout the week. But there's the cables. Bye-bye.